Hey, what's up YouTube? If you're trying to convert MKV files into MP4 files, but after the encoding process using Handbrake, it just seems like it's converting it back into MKV files. That's probably because it is. <laughs> Here's one step you're probably missing. All right, man, so here we are on my desktop right here. I'm gonna open up Handbrake. After Handbrake opens, go ahead and locate your MKV file that you wanna convert over into an MP4. I have mine right here in this window here. Click and drag it over on top. Obviously, make sure your format is MP4. All these other settings here, you can toy and mess around with them to your desire. The only thing I've changed here is I kind of bumped up the quality just a little bit. I put it at around 22. I also changed my encoder preset to just bump up just a little bit faster up to medium. And that's about all that I changed here. Make sure your frame rate is same as source. And that is about all that I changed here. I went ahead and saved this preset. I named it. I'm not gonna make another preset. You can make another one so that it saves all these changes that we just made. After that, the next thing I wanna direct your attention to is this bottom part where it says save as instead of just hitting browse and then choosing the folder where you want that file to save. We're gonna change this extension here from M4V to MP4. Now you could go ahead and open up your browse window, go ahead and choose wherever you wanna save that file. Once you've figured out where you wanna save that file, go ahead and hit save and then hit start encode. Go ahead and let Handbrake do its thing encoding. Then after it's done encoding, we could go ahead and check the properties of this file and we can see that it is an MP4. And if we go back to the original file that I originally was converting from MKV over into MP4, we can see that it was originally an MKV file and here's the mp4 file i hope you guys found this useful on this channel i tend to do a lot of just small little troubleshooting issues that you'll run into when it comes to video converting video editing so if this video helped you out at all be sure to drop me a like man it really helps out the channel and check out some of the other videos on this channel as well hope to see you guys in one of my next videos stay safe youtube